Hi there. Welcome to Tech Talk with Altronics. I'm Brian McGee, and today we'll take a quick look at the PDS8K1 by Altronics. This is a kit that includes a PDS8 power distribution board and a VR6 voltage regulator. The purpose of this kit is to accommodate multiple voltages when designing an access control or security application. This can be accomplished by using a single 24 volt DC source. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Okay, once we unbox the PDS8K1, we'll find the PDS8 power distribution board, the VR6 voltage regulator, a set of installation instructions, and an accessory package which has spacers, 632 machine screws, spare fuses, and an 8 pin uh, header connector. Now, this kit is also available in the PDS8CBK1. CB stands for circuit breaker. If we compare the two distribution boards, the PDS8 has a 3 amp ATO fuse and the PDS8CB has a 2 amp PTC circuit breaker, which is a power limited class 2 device. Other than that, the two boards are identical. Now, on the left side of the VR6, you'll see an input for 24 volts DC and below that an output. The output will provide either five volts or 12 volts depending on the setting of this dip switch. When power is applied, there's a red LED located here, which will illuminate, and then a red LED in between the terminal strips indicating output. Now, I would also like to point out that the VR6, the backside of this board is non-conductive. It's designed to install directly onto a metal backplane such as in our ULX, eFlow, and more importantly, the Trove enclosure, which is a solution that's designed to integrate access control boards, power supply boards, and sub-assemblies on a unique backplane in a single enclosure. We'll learn more about that in a separate video. Now, the PDS8 board, on the left side, you'll see an input one and input two. We could use this with two independent power supplies, for example, 24 volts, in input one and 12 in input two, that would allow us to select out of the eight outputs, uh, 24 or 12 volts uh, individually. And the way we would do that is using the jumper pins that are in between the fuses. Uh, the top set will select input one and the lower set will select input two. So for example, I can kind of turn that and let you see, there's the, the pins. So the top set again would be input one and the lower set would be input two. But today, we're not using two independent power supplies, we're using the VR6, and by providing the 24 volt DC input, the VR6 will provide the 12 volts and allow us to use only a single power supply to provide both voltages. Let's see how that works. Okay, well I've added the spacers onto the VR6, so what I'll do from here is take the eight pin connector and insert that into the socket on the VR6. And then we'll take the PDS8 and align those two boards, something like that, and then press them together. Okay, from there we will go ahead and put screws into the board. Next, I will apply power to the board. Okay, let's plug it in over here. All right. So I'll point out a couple things on the board. There are spade lugs on the right and left side of the board. If we need more than eight outputs, we could add a second board by jumpering power one to power one, common to common, and power two to power two, and that would carry the power through to the second PD board. Now the VR6, we have the switch here set for 12 volt mode. I could have set that for five volt mode, but it's set for 12 volt mode. 
and you'll notice that there are two LEDs illuminated for output one, a green and a red, and the same all the way through four, and then only a green is illuminated for five through eight. Uh, the reason for that is, is the jumpers here, I have the first four set for the top two pins, or the 24 volts, and the last row, the last four are set for 12 volts. If you pull the pin off or set, in the say in the middle position you'll notice the led went out that uh, removes power from the output now the vr6 has a total amperage output of six amps so on the 12 volt or the 5 volt it, it doesn't matter whether it's set for 12 or 5 volts whichever it is it's six amps output so the combined amperage for the outputs that are set for the 12 volts is six maximum. Now, we'll just, actually, let's look at the input first. You'll see the 26 volts coming from the power supply. And then even though there's nothing connected to input two, if I meter input two, we'll see the 12 volts. That is the regulator sending the voltage up on this header pin. And then if we take a quick peek at a the outputs, output one there has the 26 volts, output two, three and four are the same, and if we go over to output five, we'll see the 12 volts, and that would carry through all the way to output eight. Altronics products are proudly manufactured in the USA and are backed by a lifetime warranty. For more information, visit us on the web at altronics.com.